Hi everybody, Robert Crow here with Remax Alliance. Thanks for joining me today. We're gonna to do a quick video and walkthrough on my new listing at 2139 Katahdin Drive in the Bucking Horse neighborhood, East Midtown, Fort Collins, Colorado. Okay, 2139 Katahdin. I believe Katahdin's a mountain. It might also be some kind of mountain goat or sheep. Uh, depends who you talk to. Uh, anyhow, this is a beautiful home built in 2009 by Bartram, a very well-known local builder, a very well-respected builder. Uh, these folks, these sellers have lived there since the day they bought it back, uh, what's that, 12 years ago. So it is a delightful two-story. Uh, as soon as you walk in, you're going to see that the owners have done some lovely upgrades in anticipation of putting the home on the market. But uh, first of all, take a look at those vaulted ceilings and all that light. There's so much light in this house. There's just masses and masses of windows. So that first room off the left there is just a little cozy room. Uh, we just swung past the front door and then that is the formal dining area. Wouldn't take much to uh, get a drywaller in and maybe turn that into a home office. I can see some big French doors there and oh, I could work from home all day. Not in my house, my kids are too noisy. Anyhow, come on around and we're going into the family room. Um, we got a glimpse before at that wood grain ceramic tile that was all put in fresh this year, again, in, in anticipation of the sale. We've got all new carpet in the house as well. Uh, there again, family room, gas fireplace. You can mount that TV on the wall. We've got some extra glass shelves to go underneath for components like uh, DVRs. Do we still call them DVRs? Uh, Xboxes. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, powder room off that family, uh, family room there. It's got that ceramic tile. And then we're going to give you a closer look at the kitchen. So a little breakfast nook there. You can pop a couple of stools. Granite countertops. Uh, you've got those uh, hardwood floors have just been refinished. Tons of cabinetry in here. Stainless steel appliances. Uh, the refrigerator's staying. That's a gas. That's an electric uh, cooktop stove there in the island. Quick glimpse outside. We'll head back there in a minute. To the right there, you just saw the pantry, double door pantry. Huge big laundry off the kitchen uh, with some upper cabinets there as well. And then we've got the door to our two car garage, a coat closet, and then a cool little nook where you could maybe, maybe put a bench or some shelves, uh, whatever you see fit. So come around through the kitchen. I do like those granite countertops. And we are going to head up the stairs. Love that open railing there. Oh, I gave you a glimpse to the door to the basement. You know, if you build new today, a, a builder would charge you probably seven to ten thousand dollars to do an open railing just like that versus kind of a half wall. So top of the stairs, you've got a little command center there for computers, office supplies, a sewing machine, who knows. And here we are in the primary bedroom. We have a tray ceiling, love tray ceilings, ceiling fans in all the bedrooms. Nice big walk-in closet in here as well. Take a look in there. Uh, that's nicely specked out. You've got some trays, uh, drawers, I guess, floating drawers. And then we're going to take a look at the five-piece master bath. Now, it's five-piece because you've got a soaking tub, a walk-in shower, twin sinks, and obviously a toilet. Now, I've got a plumber coming in on Friday to replace these little faucet handles. Uh, they're coming in, yep, just in a day or two. So that should all be fixed for when you go see the home. There's that walk-in shower. You've got the private toilet area with another shelf there. Little linen closet right in front of you. And then we're going to see the two twin sinks. Okay, follow me. We're going to go explore the other three bedrooms. Now, this house is a total of 3,530 square feet. Two, uh, 2,408 of that is above grade. And then we've got about 1,100 in the unfinished basement. So three bedrooms up here. They share a guest bath with twin sinks. You have guest bedroom number one. Again, with that ceiling fan. Let's just nip into the bathroom. Love the fact you have twin sinks. 
Can't tell you how many homes uh, I see these days where the guest bathroom has just one sink. And you can imagine uh, everybody fighting over that one sink, toothpaste everywhere. Um, second guest bedroom. These are very spacious bedrooms as well. Love all the light in here. And then we're gonna head out to the third bedroom, which I think is the one that everybody's gonna fight over. It's at the front of the house and certainly feels the most spacious. Again, look at all those upper windows there. So much light in a house. And I've said this once before, I don't know anybody who doesn't love light in a house. All right, swinging back round and we're gonna get one little last glimpse of upstairs before we head to the basement stairs. Now, like I said, about 1100 square feet of unfinished space down here. Very, very roomy. You've got three egress windows. Again, when you buy new construction, a lot of builders just give you one egress window and now they charge you an extra 3,000 for additional windows. Uh, plenty of room down here. We've got a passive radon system. There is also a, uh, a rough-in for a future bathroom. Come out out back. Uh, these sellers had a couple of big dogs. Well, two big dogs. So you're gonna to need to uh, reseed that lawn area in the in the late spring, but we got all the backyard cleaned up for you. Put some new rock in there. You can see some raised planters. There's even a camp fire pit. Love that. Uh, good size deck. Don't know who left that chair. <laughs> Anyhow, as you can see, put some turf down, reseed. Uh, it's ready for you to plant in the spring. Thanks so much for watching my video. This neighborhood is of course the Bucking Horse neighborhood. When you're there, be sure to pop around and visit the uh, little playground park around the corner. There's a junior Olympic pool in the neighborhood and you're just a couple of minutes walk from the Jessup Farm area as well. That is a beautiful part of Fort Collins. I'm Robert Crow, Realtor with Remax Alliance. Thanks so much for watching my video. Any questions, reach out to me using the information on screen. Have a smashing day.